Sim Smith here. I'll show you how to turn your webcam into free head tracking. So you need a working webcam and a software called AI Track, which is free. And finally, one last software called Open Track, also free. Uh, both of these are from GitHub. First, make sure that Windows recognizes your webcam and the app that comes with it called Camera in Windows um, works with your webcam. This will reduce troubleshooting. Next, let's go to Google and let's download uh, the software we talked about, AI Track. And I have all these listed in the video description. So you can just click and download them. So this one, um, go to GitHub. And kind of the way the GitHub works, you go to the releases, take the latest version. This is pretty recent. Go down. It's just a zip file. Um, you download it, extract it. There's an the exe. You run it. That's it. So that will take care of AI track. There is also documentation. So if you go to the code page and uh, go to the readme file, it'll tell you um, other things like you need redistributable. Most people uh, have this in their windows, so not a big deal. There is a doc folder I'll show you. And also there's a link to the next software in here as well. So if you scroll up, go to the doc, also read this. It tells you how to properly set this up which, by the way, I'll also cover in this video. Next software is OpenTrack, same deal. Google, GitHub, I'll have this linked as well. And you take the latest version. And this one is, uh, you have multiple options. I choose the 7Z one, you can unzip it and there is an exe in there, it'll just run. For AI track, uh, this worked for me better. Uh, click on this uh, checkbox called Use Remote, Open Track Client, and there just put in your local IP address, which is the same for everyone, 127.0.0.1, and the port, and remember these things, and click on Save. And let's test this out. If your webcam is set up correctly, uh, you click on Start Tracking, it will uh, open your webcam and it will recognize, it will use facial recognition to recognize which way you're looking. Next, let's uh, configure Open Track. And uh, they recommend to create a new profile so you can have a different profile for different games because sensitivity and things like that are a little different. So for example, here I'll just create a profile for Xplain. And let's go over some of the settings. So you want the input to be UDP. Under the UDP setting uh, next to it, click on the hammer and that port needs to match the port you have on the AI track. For output, choose free track, and this is pretty much compatible with most modern games, including uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, Xplain, and choose that filter as they recommend. Few things I want to go over here are the options. And for example, I kind of disable most of my stuff. I only use uh, the tracking to look left and right. Uh, so you can enable and disable whatever works for you. I do want to mention that hardware tracking is much more superior and preferred than this method. Now let's go over the mapping. So I will uh, start the track. The AI track is feeding the, da the data to this. And whenever I'm uh, moving my head, that octopus is uh, moving. And when I'm moving, uh, you'll see you see the data going back and forth. So that is important because the very beginning is the dead zone. So you want to make the dead zone just big enough so that whenever you do minor head movement, we do as uh, naturally, your camera is not shaking because it gets very irritating otherwise. So uh, play around with this depending on your camera and your own sensitivity, uh, increase or decrease the dead zone. Okay, here is X-Plane. 
And you see when I'm moving this, the AI track is feeding the data to OpenTrack, and OpenTrack is feeding it to Xplane. You don't need X camera. You can just enable the tracking in the graphics setting in Xplane. In Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, I didn't have to do anything. It just recognized. So you see, yes, the heads are moving, camera is moving. All right, everyone, happy flying.